After 15 years, Apple has finally abandoned the familiar OS X name, replacing it with Mac OS. But don't get too excited or concerned, because the underlying operating system is basically the same. There's just one important new feature introduced in Mac OS Sierra, and it's one everyone's already familiar with, Siri. Apple's digital assistant took its time coming to the Mac, but it's finally arrived and it does more or less what you'd expect. It can open apps, send messages, and search the web. Siri does gain the ability to search for files, something it can't do in iOS. That's useful, but not all new, as it simply replicates functionality already available in Spotlight, which, by the way, hasn't gone anywhere. Siri may not surprise, but it is a useful addition. Now it's possible to make appointments, take notes, or send messages without opening and interacting with an entirely separate app. That's great if you're zoned in on a project and don't want to leap out to send a quick response. Siri is at its best in these situations and takes dictation without issue. But Siri has more trouble when forced to look up files, work with iTunes, or summon maps. It repeatedly failed to find correct directions or even understand the address requested. This was made worse by performance issues. Often, Siri needed several seconds to become active once summoned. We hope these issues will be resolved by the time macOS Sierra hits its full release. There's not much going on aside from Siri. A number of cross-platform experiences like iCloud, iMessages, iTunes, and Photos are slated for updates. None of these were live at this early date, and even if they were, they're minor additions at best. What's most notable is not what's here, but what isn't. The Mac's dock remains the same as always and lacks the features found in Windows Taskbar like thumbnail previews. Notifications, Mission Control, the Mac App Store, they're all the same as before with the same pros and cons as always. And touchscreen support is still snubbed. Now that's okay, Mac does the job, but it has fallen behind in both software and hardware over the last few years. Nothing in Mac OS Sierra fixes that. The name of the OS has changed, but Apple's neglect of its desktop operating system has not. 